boy, what is going on? Lieutenant Eddie, back at ya. This is a continuation from the giveaway that I recently did, and the winner of that is... Mount and Glade. So a huge congrats to you, and I hope you enjoy the new mouse. So I wanted to have like a special like highlight thing of like, yo, hey, these are some honorable mentions. Though I didn't realize Gleam doesn't have an easy way to kind of view all or sort. So because of that, I would have to cycle through 500 and I think 76 pages of entries to find all of the videos that I wanted to quickly showcase and show like the funny parts. Unless there's a way I can figure out to do that, I will I can do that in another video. But thank you to everyone who was able to upload a video. Video. I'm sorry you didn't win, but I'm glad you've entered. But anyway, moving on to the Q&A section. So as far as I know, this might be a thing. Uh, people ask me a lot of questions, and I think I might just screen cap here and there, common questions, or even like down below in the video or something like that. We'll, we'll see. Anyway, let's get started. Uh, hey Eddie, are you a weeb? I'm gonna say no. This thing is, like, I know I got my anime figures above. I know I got the JoJo references everywhere. When I was 14 to 16, I was a huge weeb. I tried learning Japanese, uh, so that was cool. Like, I, I think in total, like, in the past year, I've only watched, like, two, three anime. Like, I do, like, the cherry pick, like, the, the cream of the crop, you know? What's the decent joke in the mishaps videos? So talking with a friend and myself, we grew up in different uh, northern Ontario schools. Basically, all of the, the kids who would smoke uh, chewing tobacco or chew chewing tobacco and smoke cigarettes because that was hardcore. Whenever they would uh, pack their chewing tobacco, they would always like, oh, decent. And I think it derived originally from Trailer Park Boys from Bubbles. It was very well known that group of people would always say decent. And it's just... We kind of just started making fun of it, and when we started making fun of it, that's when I started doing like the videos, and then that kind of just came in, so. Uh, ever thought about doing a Hyperdimension Neptunia Let's Play or more visual novels in the future? I kind of took a break from the Hyperdimension series just because I wasn't having as much fun as I was hoping for. Apparently they've been continuously improving, uh, so I might jump back into it relatively soon. I've, I've just been playing Overwatch and like other games that are in my backlog, you know? But with visual novels, I would like to. Uh, I'll probably just get wasted again. I, I want to get more into playing more bad games as well. Uh, I don't have an estimated date, but I definitely want to. What is your favorite Overwatch hero? I get this a lot, and I reply to it a lot, but so that there is concrete proof, my favorites and mains are McCree, Widowmaker, D.Va, and Ana. Though I will say Genji's starting to grow on me more. You feel like a little Spider-Man, it's kind of nice. Where are you from? So I'm from the small town of Thunder Bay in northern Ontario. It's an okay kind of city. I moved out to Toronto for work. And actually that brings up to the next question. Uh, will you even consider doing YouTube full time? So basically I need, do need to give a little bit of history here. So I took college for film production and then I also went into broadcasting, which is like live television and that sort of stuff. Uh, Toronto's kind of booping for commercials, movies, and all that, so I came up here to pursue what I wanted, which was uh, editing. Somehow, I managed to become an assistant editor uh, on a few TV shows. So with digital entertainment getting more popular, television shows starting decreasing, and I was just doing YouTube just as a, as a side thing just for fun. I mainly did animation, and everyone knows you can't make a living off animation anymore off YouTube. The few places I've been working at, they've been, you know, reducing like how many people they hire, how much they pay. When I learned this, and once my hours started getting cut, I started being more active on YouTube. So with the current show I was currently on, I wasn't happy with it. I don't think I was going to be moving up any more in the food chain because I was only assistant editor. And I wanted to be an editor. I put in my two weeks' notice, and uh, so I got out of there. I was like, okay, this is. I ha I'm gonna make this work. I saved up a little bit of money, enough money to live uh, just in case if this didn't work out, obviously. This was like thinking about this for months in the back of my head. I think it's only I think it's only been like two or three weeks since I've actually been technically unemployed, but I'm trying to make this work as a full-time career. Hopefully, yes. I'm currently trying it full-time right now. We'll see how this goes. And this kind of bleeds on to the next question. Do you plan on continuing the animation channel? Yes, I love animation. Animation has a special key to my heart. I will definitely be continuing it, though I don't think I'll be putting as much time into it. A lot of you know that animation channels don't make as much as anything else. 
uh, because uh, revenue is based off time watched instead of how many views and such. Like if you're animating on YouTube right now, you really need like a, an, a main source of living because YouTube is not very nice to animators and and you know it, it, it really starts to to not sit well with you either when you see like Facebook and Instagram pages like taking your video taking the credit and it's like take that down and nothing happens like actually the past two uploads I've made you know just stuff like that happened and it's just like man what come on <laughs> But it's it's 100% I'm still doing animation, though it is a passion pit now, I would say. But I, I, I love animation. It's it's a it's a baby. I'll, I'll never let go. What is your fav favorite anime to watch, Lenny Face? As of right now, uh, JoJo, if you couldn't tell from all the thumbnails I've been making. Um, and it's like the first TV show in like literally years. I've, I've been like, I... It's Friday. It's fucking JoJo Friday. Will you ever play uh, some fun games with your subs? For example, Overwatch custom games. So I'm trying to figure that out. I've tried playing sub games before with CSGO and Overwatch, but th the biggest problem is that there's so many people and there's so little time. The other thing is too is surprisingly, there's been a lot of times where it hasn't gone so well. And I don't know, I guess there's a lot of bad examples that kind of ruin it for everyone and kind of deter me away from that because I'm sure most of you are cool people. It's hard to tell from like a username and like a don't worry bro I'm cool. So for now there's I'm not playing with any subs or anything like that but I mean something comes in the future I could, I could change so. How old are you roughly? I am 24 and I think next week or maybe week and a half I'll be 25 so Ooh. do you have any tips for people starting on YouTube? My biggest advice is to make what you would want to watch on YouTube. If you have the mentality of boy I'm gonna get like so famous I'm gonna upload these nudes when I, one million like it's gonna be great you're not gonna have a fun time you're gonna hate what you're doing like look at your biggest role model on YouTube kind of like take your favorite bits and like just work with that and just be yourself too. How much sleep do you get? Because it doesn't look like enough. So I get this a lot actually. Uh, people say I kind of look dead on the inside. So I get about six to seven hours of sleep. Uh, I'm not very comfortable in front of a camera. I always do feel pressurized in front of it, like even now. I don't know if it comes off that way or even if I seem dead right now. I just feel strange when, I'm, when I know I'm being recorded, like with my face and everything. I think that's the main reason. <laughs> What do you do other than YouTube, hobby, job, and etc.? cetera? Uh, Hobby-wise, what else do I do? Nothing really. <laughs> uh, I collect a few uh, figures here and there, mainly anime figures, not the building ones. Just honestly, I just play video games. That's mainly all I do. You know, that's, that's actually really sad. That's, that's all I have is video games. So moving on. <laughs> How did you meet your friends? So with everyone in the video, I'll try to quickly go like a brief synapsis because they're all kind of different. Coop, Hideki, and Cosmic Flint, also known as TJ and Brian, they're my RL friends. I know them in Toronto. We've met basically through school. Lee Acer, I also know in real life. He is actually, he was a co-worker at one of the post-production places I was working at. So uh, some of the other ones like, you know, like Geek, Tizen, Domen, you know, the, the entire group and more. Uh, it started out with the, the, the first four where uh, I, they were just in my Twitch stream and when I was only streaming, I only had like five viewers. They were just always there. You know, we start talking and they're just cool people. And now we're like, it's become like a friends of a friends of a friends thing. And then in Counter-Strike, let's see here. Like Pear, for example, is another school friend. Matt is one of my friends' uh, boyfriends. So that's always lit. I think that's about it. I probably forgot someone. I'm probably going to make someone very angry, but that's okay. I will say... Oops. What's your favorite video you made so far? I really, really like the, the Genji butt animation that I did. I was really proud of that. It, uh, do you prefer your ultra wide monitor over your 16 by 9 monitor? Minus the lack of support of Overwatch. Yes. Uh, I mainly got it for editing reasons. Having like that extra s screen real estate is so nice. And if games support it, it's, it's so beautiful. Hey Eddie, who is your waifu? So overall, I'm going to say Lady Satsuki from Kill the Kill. Fuka was definitely number one at a time. She's the best girl in Persona. Like, I mean, 
What editing software do you use and why? I use Adobe Premiere CC and the Total Creative Cloud. And I also use Shadowplay to record as well, which is built into all or most NVIDIA uh, graphics cards these days. What drove you to do YouTube videos, man? That's that's kind of a hard one to, to answer really, because I, I, I kind of just started doing it. Like, you know, when I was like, I think I was like 14 when I first started making my videos, I was just having fun with it and i was like whatever was like i think making people laugh is a huge thing it's really nice seeing comments of like you know i was like you know i was having such a bad day this made me really laugh and just just the process of movie making i i love it right when and how did you learn to animate on source filmmaker uh were you always wanting to animate do you draw i used to draw i kind of stopped just I, I just been making more movies than anything i learned source filmmaker from the official valve videos what's your favorite drink either alcoholic or non-alcoholic alcoholic it's a tie between asahi and rolling rock uh those two are just they're lit non-alcoholic I, I guess coffee all i drink is uh beer coffee and water so a question what is the first game you played I think uh, we got a Sega Genesis. I got Sonic the Hedgehog 2 and Echo the Dolphin, The Tides of Time. I remember that game giving me nightmares, but I don't remember Sonic all that well. So I think technically it was Echo. Can you show us your cat? I love cats. How many drawings will it take for you to love me back? I'm a very easy person and a huge slut, so it takes one. I will say quickly that Kirby Taco is my favorite artist, and if you haven't, if you haven't noticed, uh, the banner, and now I'm clean and the videos, that was done by her. This is like level A top tier Smash Bros. character shit that's going on. So check out her art uh, whenever you can. So that's basically about it for the Q&A. That's all the answer I kind of dug out. Uh, for any other questions in the future, feel free to like just post around, ask me on Twitter, I'll screen cap it then. Anyway guys, thanks for watching. Uh, I got some more Overwatch stuff coming up in the future. I don't really have anything to announce other than um, I very much appreciate your support. All right, I'll see you guys later.